Hello and welcome to episode 32 of U Squad Legends Series 7 with Barcelona. It has now hit the 10th of February and it is well, middle of February, obviously being the shortest month and everything. Hi Matthew Brown. We got four games to play in February, obviously I'm not counting this one in the Copa del Rey semi-final, especially when we won 3-1 in the first leg. So, I mean, that that's going to be a final, so obviously I'll have to play that. I'll have to play to win the actual trophy. February 10th, 2019, it's the first game of the episode. We got quite a nice alternate shirt, but we won't be able to play with it. Look at these players. Ugh. Ugh. Sexy. Palucci's still injured. God damn. Get right for me, man. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with that team, Barcelona against Sevilla. As we crawl slowly to the end of this series. Nice control by Cranio. And, and then a cone. Oh, look. Really? Oh, my word. Completely screwed up the drill. No, 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 no. What's he doing? What's happening? Oh, that, 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 that's piss easy. Right, I'll, I'll just... I'll, oh, right, okay. I'm better. That's cool. Hello and welcome to La Liga. You get to 35 and you think most people will be Top of the table with that terrible run. Uh, pushed on from there. And I think that's his great quality. He's not satisfied. He's still got that hunger in front of goal. Sevilla's throw. Well, let's get Karchamaskas some more goals. Project Karchamaskas. Oh, my name is Karchamaskas. But, but please, call me without us, Gorja Marcus. Keepers. Okay, I don't want Hoon Hong to be shaky again. That wasn't good. Against Deportivo. Gorja Marcus. It's wide to Dickinson. Bit of skill and a throw in. Why is it every time you want to cross it from the throw in, the actual person that you want to cross it to is always not in the box? Like, always, always not in the box. It's a, that's took a deflection. It will be a corner kick. Martinez aiming for Cranio over the bar. Super Annie. No, five people were watching. It's not just you. Just no, no one's deciding to talk for the uh, time being. Oh, there you are, Mateus. There you are. I got to see you are the best. You young, young academy. <laughs> no, youth academy. Carry him over YouTuber slash streamer. Love your work. Keep it up. You are funny as well. Thank you very much. Hopefully I get promoted from best youth career streamer slash video maker to best FIFA YouTuber in general. And you're hopefully. I mean I tell you what, right, I, I fucking love Spencer. Spencer like I don't think it's fair that he was the one who actually got onto FIFA sixteen, but you know what? He's he's a nice lad. He's obviously a nice lad and he's a very good very very good video maker, you know what I mean? He's a very good entertainer in general. So, yeah. Yeah, you're getting a lot of limelight because of it. Fair play. It can only be a positive for the FIFA uh, community. Having people like him. And the effort that he puts, on, he, he puts in to all his videos, that there's quality. Good header by Adnan. Play it through. Oh. His team now can move away from their defensive areas. 
They're getting the forward well, severe. I'd love to, I'd love to like have 10 minutes on a Skype chat with him or something. Just, Dickinson. just a nice chilled out session with someone who I, I actually appreciate makes videos. That is beautiful footwork from the guy from Carjo Arsgas. Oh yes. Oh yes. Like the Churchill dog. Oh yes. Look at that. So the wonderful footwork just to get through the defense like yeah, this is my goal. And it's 37, he's creeping up. It's his uh, kit number actually, when he's on right now. He's got 20 to go. Oh, and he's here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, good block. Mendes, in. Yeah. Get in, he's finally scored. I am so happy for him. I, no, no, you've got to, he has, he has been superb this series. Skiovi is class. And he, he's, he's scored there. Spot on. He's always, he's always winning them aerial duels. Yes, lad, well done. Now I'm in, I'm in a good uh, I'm in a good zone at the moment. Get it out. Oh. See the place where Skiavi was then, he should have been able to get it out, but oh no. Like effectively, look, it'll show it in the replay. It should have actually been a red card this challenge. If it does show it on the replay, can we have a, can we actually see the replay? So Schiavi's got goal side. And Schiavi's got goal side, and the slide tackles come from behind. You see? I don't know about that. Martinez. Mendez. Throwing for Barcelona. Mendes. I don't actually know what road you squad legend should take and Well I don't I just don't know. If if I were asking myself about a year ago I'd be like, of course a big YouTuber should get on it. Like because he it'll give like a lot of, a lot, a lot of like more interest in the series, and then we'll we'll in turn get a lot more subscribers. But then I've thought on like my viewer retention is so good, like superb for a seventeen thousand subscriber. I mean, you you'll have a like seriously if you know a lot of like FIFA FIFA YouTubers about the forty k mark. I've probably got more views than them. I'll probably get, on average, more views than them. And I'm thinking to myself, if there's, if there's a more popular YouTuber who goes and does Youth Squad Legends, yes, we will get subscribers. That's, that's a big positive. But most of them will have just been interested in it vaguely because that guy is uh, doing it. We'll get like 10% will be hardcore fans from then on. But the, the other 90 will be dead subscribers. And you'd be like, well, what really was the point? And it's hard work. It ain't, it ain't easy to make something like this. It's hard work. And you got to do a lot of grafting. I mean, check that Luton squad out. I mean, the way I boosted them players... Crazy. The way I grow, grew their potential, I mean, grew their overalls was crazy. The way we, I think, the way, the answer now, the answer, what I'm going to give you now is that I, I wouldn't actually like a bigger YouTuber to do it, because, that's a penalty. 
the way it's it's growing right now is very naturally you know people who are subscribing to my channel are actually there they just search like FIFA 15 Youth Academy or FIFA 15 Youth Players or FIFA event what eventually will be FIFA 16 Youth Academy and they'll just find my player to find my things and they'll be like oh this is really interesting and because they find it interesting the viewership stays the viewership just stays. Karcher Marskas. 38 goals. I don't if he's miskicked it slightly, but it's just skewed off his boot and flown into the top left. Say, for instance, this guy. This guy who's in my uh, chat right now. Who's asking for uh, subscribers or check, check out. Check my channel out, yeah? I. To be fair, you could check his channel out, you could subscribe, but the chances of you being an actual interactive subscriber with whatever he does, it's, uh, it's quite unlikely. I don't even know what he does. Just, uh, that's how, I, exactly, that's, that's just, that's how it happens. Second half underway, Barcelona have got the lead. Like, all the way through, I mean, of course, like, interest in the Barcelona one and interest in the Luton one have been a bit lower than what was in the Burton one. But the Burton one, you could basically guarantee every single episode of the Burton career mode, you'd get about 4,000 viewers. 4,000 viewers every single time. And I've only got a 17k channel. 4,000 viewers is a big, big percentage. Like, way bigger than... Any other like YouTuber with 17k, apart from obviously them ones what do clickbait videos. Got the tackle in. It's a free kick. Free kick what? What? That's a free kick. The world has gone mad. How is that a free kick for Sevilla? What's coming up? It's the Spanish Cup fixture. Barcelona. They'll be facing Sevilla away from home. I don't know about you, Martin, but I'm looking forward to going down to this game and commentating on it. Should be good. Mendes. You know, it's, it's, getting, it's getting tougher to interact with uh, your subscribe. My subscribers on video. But um, on Twitter, I try my best. And if you've got anything interesting... Kevin, you want to share with me, I'm sure I'll favourite it along. In fact, to be fair, anybody who's on... Right, the people that are actually, actually watching me right now, if you've got Twitter and if you follow me, if you've tweeted me at any stage, right, I've, probab I've probably favourited something that you've done or talked to you about something. It's just... I like Twitter. I like interacting. Go on then. Go on then. Is my sprint button not working? Didn't look like he was running there. Martinez. Wife, my wife, wife, my. Uh, oh, oh, unlucky. No, no, it is working. Just, te just, just checking. Just making sure. Yes. Unlucky. Yeah, like, yeah, clickbait videos. It, for example, the strip FIFA videos, yeah. No matter how arousing the things are, it really shouldn't be the, the case on YouTube. I mean, it's just... And they have literally the same dignity as them, like, whores on Twitch, basically. Good. Look at that strength. Look at that strength. Oh! God, you're just bullying these defenders. Yes. Scarvey with them bullet edders. Well, he sees that as a really bad miss, and I'd have to agree with him.
Yeah, Swib were in there as well, wasn't he? Swib. Yeah, they, they were good times, man. It's a shame that, I don't know, friends want to stab you in the back, like. Still keeping the ball. Still eyeing up the chance, maybe. But it's not easy. But if you want, if you want like a game of cards against humanity, like maybe in a couple of weeks, you know, when the FIFA 16 hype dies down, then I'll be happy to play it with you guys again, with you, Swib, Aiden. Maybe a couple more if they're willing. Franjo. Here we are. Franjo. Nice. Koch took it the wrong way. Kevin Gamero. Thomas Pina. He's played that nicely with a, a dink upfield. No, I cannot do an up. There's no point. There's no point of doing an Oviedo YSL, especially this year, because like everybody will think that I'm copying Spencer, and I'm not doing that. Well, everyone knows he's the playmaker. So if you're given the ball by him, you I am. I am actually doing a YSL, but it's kind of off the radar at the moment. I've got a thumbnail for it on Twitter, like deep, deep into my Twitter. And it is actually copying two career modes that I've seen beforehand, but they were both on Football Manager. Um, Second Yellow Card has done a series with Paris FC, and I remember Huz doing a, an incredible save with Paris FC. And I was like, you know what, since they've gone into League 2, I'm going to do my first French YSL. I mean, it's, it's a great idea as well, because obviously PSG, the big bosses... Of that um, of that nation, so you've got a final goal at the end of it, which is actually much bigger than any goal that you'll face, like going up to the going up to the uh, series finale. Three one. I can't remember. I can't remember scoring three goals honestly. Uh, Koch probably scored twice. I think one was from a penalty and then Skiavi with that head off. There you are. All I'm good at is FIFA. I say all I am good at is... Oh, well. Actually, no. That's 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 a, that's just a lie. I'm, I'm decent at Rocket League. Um, I'm good. I'm very good at Pokemon. And... Something else that I can't remember. Football Manager. Football Manager's decent. SSX. Oh my god, the snowboarding game. I am fucking sick of that shit. I once beat 149 players online at, at the same time. Oh yeah. And I was like, what? What? And I was like, yeah, that was crazy. I got so much money for that. Not not actual money. Not, not actual money, but like in-game money. I wish it were fucking it. I wish it were fucking actual money. Where I got like 33 million coins, which uh, yeah is a lot of coins. Oops, nearly played the uh, Copa del Rey match then. So Sevilla, we won three one in the league, and then we've we've gone through in the Copa del Rey. So we'll be. Playing the Copa del Rey final sometime. Next game is against Real Zaragoza. Zaragoza. Performance review. I don't know why I'm accepting that. I wanted to do like an Italian job too, but it's not going to happen with the time available to us. Yeah, well, I want to I wanna watch second yellow cards, Paris FC. But I've got so much catching up to do. 
And people are like, what is from the Shadow series? There's a lot, a lot of things. And I won't be able to watch them all, you know that. But so I'll try and... Oh, nice, nice, Cranio, just roll over. Yeah. Try and, try and get that dummy the red card. Yeah. And try and keep up with him on FIFA. Uh, FIFA. FM16. Yeah, actually, that's the thing. He said one time in his Portsmouth uh, football manager... They was gonna do football. I mean, they was gonna do FIFA videos. And I'm like, oh well. If that was like half a year ago, why hasn't he done it? Why hasn't he done it? That's the big question that I want to pose to you. Why hasn't he done FIFA videos? I know his health has deteriorated uh, through the last couple of months. He's feeling better now, thank goodness. But why didn't he do it? Is it because of that? I might ask him actually. Re really calling offside? I, I mean, I had the ball and I was playing it through. It's not really a good place to call offside. That's a oh, nah! You can't be injuring Karcha Marskas, you fucking pleb. Get up, Karch, we need you up. That's it, he's, he's walking again. Chill, chill. He's all right. I'm oh, gonna. I'm just gonna destroy that guy then. It's all about timing in those situations, and actually mistimed that header. Martinez. Franjo, waiting for a run by Likaja Mutgas. Yes, free kick. Free. Is this referee dumb? Doesn't want to have us, uh, doesn't want to give us the, uh, what you call it, undefeated season. Is it, is it just me or do you guys think Barcelona's kits would look much better with white numbering on the back instead of yellow? I mean, I, I all know, I, I know that it's because of the badge and everything. And obviously it complements the kit quite well, but with white numbering, it, it just would look a bit more classy to me. Yeah! Oh! Fucking hell. Possibilities for Barcelona. He's gone and won the ball with a very good tackle. White is there, uh, uh, with his head yeah, but Martinez. I mean, it's just the number on the back. Like, it's just literally the number on the back. In a, like, it isn't an away strip or anything. It's literally just a number on the back. The intro video to SYC's Paris FC is definitely worth a, a watch. Really good introduction. Does he like to talk about the club info on that? Because obviously I'll need to brush on, I'll brush up on that before I actually start my Youth Squad Legends series with them. Great ball. Save. Oh, Kisiavi. It's 
So you're saying you're you're telling me Barcelona have never never worn a white kit, like never worn a white kit. away by the defender that will uh, go out of play you can see it clearly has done coming up now a corner it's a bit mad that that will go to the goalkeeper here I'm sure I've seen Barcelona in a white kit before like even if it was an old tip it doesn't really it doesn't matter it doesn't like symbolize that you Crossing over with Real Madrid because you're wearing white. What a chance here. Got to be. Pushed back into play by the goalkeeper. Tried to steer Oh, nearly, nearly. Ah, oh, I saw it. My eyes were lighting up. I can't believe I've just done a bicycle kick that's hit the post. Challenge. Gives you a brief apparent. Nice, Reception nice. Made, but with any great difficulty. Break maybe from Barcelona. Got past him. Back to him again. Makes the challenge here. Yeah, that'll definitely be worth a watch. Yes, yes, no. For the passing percentage for both sides, seventy-seven percent. Wow. Okay. Now you. Even the match game. What's it? Shoot, man! Oh, this this game, this this match is obviously against me. And this match is obviously against me. Catalogue of chances in this first half, but no goal. Whistle from the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. Now you, Martinez. Yes, yes. Good finish. Well, you can't finish them more precisely than that. No, no Have they actually worn white before? Just, just, just worn white. Nothing else. Just worn white. Oh, just getting closer and closer to 40. I think next next goal is 40th. Maybe. Might have just already hit it. I have no idea. Well done, Scarvey. The pass is a bit shit. Into the attacking third. Play it. Coach. Little skill move, good slide tackle to be fair. Oops. Definite yellow card. I think I'm going to make some changes and Martinez will be one of them to make way. Uh, let's, have a, let's have a bit of a challenge at the back. Paletta and Wynn at the same time. Scarby and... Uh, Ferrara will be surprised at this uh, sub. A yellow card. Yeah, I don't think you could have any complaints about that. The closest to white we've ever worn was our third 2004-05 kit. And what colour was it? Was it grey? It was probably grey, wasn't it? Actually, no. I remember you wearing a grey kit. Yeah. I remember you wearing a grey kit. Yes. Oh, good passing. I think that's number 40. Look at that, we're happy. 
This that is a great pass by Vega, isn't it? Here's the goal again. Keeper could have done better with it. There we are, 40 goals for the league season. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Cabrera. You. Corominas. Here's the chance to get in the cross. So they have worn white some tiny bit. It was grey with the red and white stripes, but they were small. They have worn white though. This is the thing. I mean, how can white numbering be that bad? Like, fuck me. I mean, come on, man. Wonderful interception. Corominas. Tell you why, it's a lot better. Right, well, okay, fair enough. History, if... Of, yeah, history, there's a lot of ri rivalries down there. Not even football-wise, just with, with Catalonia in general. Get in! But wouldn't it be even more hatred if you actually wore that colour and still hated them? Like, it's not about the colour, it's just about you. You know? You see what I'm getting at? Like, the colour white is not, like, it doesn't doesn't it shouldn't have any effect only he knows when it's right he might be feeling his body but you know you need to think long and hard hey, to be fair well, man united wore blue in the 1968 european cup for the final they wore blue and it doesn't even bother me actually that shade of blue is actually really famous with the club now We've had a lot of, like, away in third shirts with that colour blue. Dickinson crosses in. Blocked well by the defender. Player in the way there, and he's deflected the ball out of play. Well, that's gone behind. Mendes. Ah! Nah. No, I'm not saying it, no, it wouldn't show hatred to wear colours of your oppressors, no. It would just, it would just signify that you were over the, the fucking colour. The, the colour doesn't represent shit, it's just white, isn't it? White's white. What represents hatred is that club, correct? It's that badge. Yeah? It's the Real Madrid badge that you hate, it's not the colour white. What colour? What colour would your wedding be, bro? What what colour would your wedding be? Would your re wedding be like red and shit? Oh, that's I, that should be quite a cool wedding to be. But let, invite me to that wedding, please. <laughs> red wedding. Anyway, enough of that. Even though, even though it was quite funny. Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. I've just realised. I've just realised. Barcelona have got white on the badge. Barcelona have got white on their badge. Free kick given by the referee. Huh? The defending team might be in trouble. They might regret conceding this. The substitutes have been... Oh, you see, are you serious? That's a penalty. What?
Come on. Hoon Hong. Oh, I saved it as well. Yes. And the corner has been kept out here by the goalkeeper. Showing it's a physical game when it's a fair one too, and that's a great challenge. And they've added on another five minutes. He's pinched it back again. Could see the shorts were white for the first ten. Then why is there a problem? Oh god. Marvellous tackle. Uh. Are you serious? The referee has just called two really dumb penalties. What? The referee is doing everything he can to get Zaragoza at least a point here, but it's not happening. The Chelsea, that, right. Hoon Hong's really mad because he wanted to get a clean sheet. Ah! Oh. Kill the ref! The ref! Look at the ref casually walking away like nothing's happened. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. Like, get Mike Dean up in this shit. Man! I, I mean, man. What? Whistle. Much, much closer, Alan, than we ever thought it would be. And that's a credit to the underdogs. Without doubt. I think Christ almighty, wow. What was that shit? Let's get straight on with the next game. So what's next in La Liga? Because uh, it, it, re it marks the return of Agostino Pellucci. Fantastic news. Cutsy, will you buy my mixtape? Yeah, mate, it's fire. Pure fire. Hello, so that, that, that's, we, that's literally the weirdest question I've ever got on live stream. So, yeah, well done, to, well done for that. Yeah, he's been brilliant. He really has. Uh, his overall game has been spot on as well as his finishing. Martinez. Ball. Oh, how, man? Tra trash, man. Martinez in. Yes. That's a great block. The match out. Barcelona, I think they're a good side, you know. They played very well in that away victory. God, isn't he smart, man? He yeah, thinks Barcelona is a good side. Bloody hell. You know? Wow. Just wow. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? Camacho. Really strong play in the tackle. Rosales. Good defensive play, no cross and no danger now. Come on, Adnan. Look at this. Look at this speed. Oh, the speed. Yes. Had it. It's enough, I guess. It's nice to have Palucci back because usually, I mean, he's a good assist maker for our Archer Marskas. I'm going to take the free kick with him. Definitely He's not good at free kicks. Oh, saved. 
Corner coming up. Yes. Awkward moment when the 92 to 95 kit wore white, had white numbers. I knew white numbers are classy. It's nothing about it's nothing about the realm. It's just it's just white numbers. Like, just can't do it. Can't we all get along? Martinez. Ota. Ricardo Ota. And now we'll have a goal kick. On EA Sports very soon, the Champions Cup fixture, Barcelona, they'll be facing Schalke away from home. Yeah, high quality fixture this one. Go. Won't be much quarter given. Yeah. Gone in strongly. What the fuck calls a kit a uniform? Martinez. Honestly. Coach, don't don't scare me like this. Get back up. Be alright. Be alright. We need you, man. You need to score them goals for us, bro. Yeah, yeah, no. Quite a waste of having the ball for a serious period. Don't get injured on us. Don't die on us, coach. No doubt that that is an penalty! Another penalty. Referees are going mad. And a yellow card for Bocca. <laughs> when white hashtag when white numbers cause a war. Carter Marscas. Oh, oh, <laughs> fair play. Damn. Oh, Calcius. So we've had we've got Cassias, Cassia, and Calcius. All right. Martinez. If it goes, Ben Tom revenge. Oh, is he, he's he's hurt. He's pulled a muscle by shooting. A corner. The referee has given a corner here. Are you serious? And he's met him with his head. And that is a super interception. And no sir. Did, did, that's not a foul. How is that yellow card? Oh my god. Without question. Show me the replay. Show me the replay. These days. Off your feet like that it's perfectly it's perfectly tight I, mean, I got the ball didn't I well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it but just as fraction off oh we're gonna have a war on horizontal stripes now oh god horizontal stripes are bowing down to your oppressor <laughs> all right, all right then, mate. Orta. Oh, it could be off. Here's the chance. Oh, we, we're down. We are losing against Malaga. Well, that's the first goal of the game. It's one nil. Well done. So for Barcelona, I think half time will be the key. They might change it. One or two players have got some good squad, haven't they? Very good bench. And that might be the key to getting them back into it in the second half. Boca. Here's the cross. Cross is blocked. And now they've got a corner on the attack. I've got to shut up now and I've got to concentrate. Well, that's uh, another. There's another angle coming up here, Alan. Yes, Palucci. Yes, Palucci. This is it. Yes. Yes. Get in. So he's uh, he's fought off two injuries and finally scored. Hell bent. Hell bent on getting that goal. And it's a good finish at the end. Yes, lad. 
41. 16 behind. You can almost take, you can almost touch it now. It's in touching distance. Come on, let's get them goals. Let's not stop at one. Half time at one all. Well, that's changed the picture, hasn't it? The goal just before half time to God, they've, all, they've only had one shot. They had one shot in that half. Go on, Palucci. We love Palucci. Boca. He's a great assist maker from the front. He's exactly what I mean, he's exactly what Kajamaskas needs. And he can chip in with a goal here and there. Scarvi just r runs, runs into that ball. Like, that's mine. Rosales. Boca. Boca. Ota. Easy. Halucci picks it up. Karcher Moskas through the middle. Yeah! Yeah! Fake, two fake shots didn't work. Camacho. I got this. I got, I got this. I think. Nothing wrong with that tackle. I, yeah! Well done. Here's Karch. Got Palucci in support. I was actually going to try and get it to the centre mid. He's coming forward with some danger. I'd love to see like Karchamaskas in the physically demanding Premier League. That would have been a nice, uh, nice taster. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen though. I just want your striker to, to delay that run. He is pretty quick. He can afford to give the defender another yard. That will help ease the pressure. Now here's a chance. Could he do it on a cold, wet, windy night in Stoke? Orta. Fernando Damian Tissone. Have you realised? You know that's that's a joke and everything. That that saying of cold, wet, windy night in oh. Stoke, but. Stoke have actually played six games on a cold, wet, well, on a Tuesday night, basically. As the as the joke goes, they've played six games on a Tuesday night in the Premier League. Guess how many they've won out of them six games? I'll give you a moment. Okay, Malaga have just scored, so I'll I'll give you the answer. The answer is all six. They've won all six games at the Britannia Stadium on a cold, wet Tuesday night. Yeah. And we've got some work to do again. Boom. Boom. Oh! Come on. Come on. Oh, this is another one of them games. Karch Marskas has had too many shots. Can't be the guy that is remembered for losing this undefeated season. He can't be the guy who is remembered for that. We need to get this goal now. Well, as soon as possible, anyway. Go on, Palucci. He's not been the best whilst returning. Obviously, he's been out, I think. We're in a broken ankle. Something crazy like that. Being moved around nicely here with this passing game. Fernando Damian Tissone. Right, what I need to I need to get this uh, Mendes off in centre mid. I need to get him off. Because I can't put the tackles in because he's got a yellow card. He's paid for decisions like this. He could have risked on the I go all out attack. Still, but he's not going to take that chance. 
10 minutes, I mean, sorry, not 10 minutes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Doing well to keep the ball. Oh, the undefeated season is gone. Go on. Go on, Dickinson. Keep going. Forget the forget the free kick. Keep going. Yes. Where's the help coming from? No. The pass. The passing is so un Barcelona like. Good head off by Adnan. It's everyone back for this team now. Come on. Is this, are you sure this is all out of tag? We've still got like a constructed back four here. Oh, they are. They are going very defensive now. Well, this will actually help us because if we get a cross in, then uh, bingo. <sighs> Ten minutes. Rosales. Camacho. Was a big possibility this season, but it's slipping through our grasp. Well, these days don't come around very often, do they? Defeat for Barcelona might not happen yet because there is still time for a recovery. But it hasn't been the Barcelona that we all expect today. Dickinson. Here's Karch Marskas. Absolutely nothing going forward. Well, it will be a booking. I think we thought at the time, but the referee played the on and let the game flow. Uh, he didn't stop it, and I think that's good. But he's now exacted the right punishment for the original foul. We are very much running out of time. This is serious. Very, very serious for Barcelona. And it's cleared again by Maligot. Oh, Scarfi, what are you doing, man? Eating up some time. The ghost. Shit. Go. Karch is not going to get there. Five minutes of out of time. We're going to... Oh, no. Win the header. This is it. This is it. Oh, the pass is poor. It's it's basically done. Wow. I really thought we would have done it this year, this season. But here we go. This is it. The first loss of the season comes in February. Late February. Ah. Oh. And unfortunately, after all this good work, Karcher Marskas will always be remembered for missing that penalty. Well, you can't make them. You can't make that show up, can you? La Liga, Barcelona one, Malaga two. Back into the Champions League. Disappointment. Big disappointment. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Barcelona. I think that was uh, 20. Might have been 30 games. Might have been 30 games and beaten there. I have not. I can't. I don't actually know. Got to get our attention onto this, though. Quarter, not even, no, it's well, round of 16, isn't it? Of round of 16 in the Champions League. Schalke's line up today. Barcelona's line up here. He's being challenged now. It's a foul. Here's the cross. 
It's even a more dangerous threat, this. But that, that is sad, isn't it? Karcher Marskas will just be remembered for that. Unless he like, scores like a fucking hat-trick in the Champions League final. Two! Two pullings of the shirt! Chupo Moting! Dickinson. Keepers ball. Uh, you see, you can't actually abuse the uh, training thing. Flag's gone up. What what Cha what Chani did? He actually just trained one player up. What one? Fair enough. If you want to train one player up specifically, and fair enough, it will grow ridiculously, like highly. But it's that's not how it's gonna that's not how it's gonna work in youth squad edges, isn't it? Because I've got a I've got a whole squad to grow. It's one back. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Yes! He might be through. Oh, coach! I feel for him. I do. Good control here. Quite congested midfield, but good passing from this team. A bit of uh, fan contention here regarding the manager's performance in the transfer market and the way the team is playing. Oh, he's had a lot of stick for... Uh, a lot of stick. We've only ju we've just lost one game. What are you talking goal. about? Nicely played by Karchamars Gas, but it would have been nice to get through him. They got up and just yeah over. There you go. I was going to say up and over anyway, but that was literally up and over, over the bar. Christian Clements. Sam. Huntelaar's still playing. We've got fucking 53 on this. <laughs> no, it'd be about be going on late 30s, won't he? Oh, well, Keepers. Not on the money because the goalkeeper's caught it. Danger's gone. Got to pass it out to the player giving the width on this side of the field. Guys. Bartek. Here comes the cross. And Karch. That, that doesn't feel like sprinting to me, but... Pass the guy, anyway. Fuck's sake. Sam. It's Puntelar. Mendez. Good hands, this goalkeeper. That's a good save. I'm, I'm very pissed. I'm very pissed that Karch Mars Gas had one, maybe two bad games. No, two bad games this season. Fair enough. Two bad games this season, and one's resulted in the loss that we all dreaded. And then he'll he'll just get the blame. He'll get the blame because he had a penalty in that game and he should have converted it. He's controlling the play here. His teammates just borrow the ball for a few moments and then give it back to the Oh player. give over! And it's red card. I don't believe this. Fuck that. Nah. No, no, no. And uh it would have been in trouble for my superiors. And then's now gonna be suspended for the next game. Game into a, a dangerous territory, really. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. <laughs> Fox sake. At 
Left back. Left back. Don't have a bloody left back. Frora has to play there. So it's Huntelaar against Hong, and it's 1 0 Schalke. We've got some work to do. Have to feel sorry for the keeper. Even if you've got a hand on that, he wouldn't have stopped it, I don't think. Well, that's the first goal of the game. It's 1 0. Dickinson. Shit. With a capital shit. Days like this, we've got to remember we still haven't reached half time yet. But the, uh, the news will be flashed around the world, won't it? Barcelona in trouble. People will realize that with all the forms of communication existing at the moment, and they are in trouble, but they're more than capable of sorting it out in the second half. Everything is crumbling in this episode. Car control, Karch Marskas, he doesn't have the energy. No one has the energy. Why the Fuck is everybody in and like tired? You might you might realise that I am quite annoyed right now. There's the ball in. Defender blocks the cross. With this goal advantage, they've now got a corner. Keepers. It's a goalkeeper who's asserted himself from the corner. The defenders love that. Good play by Schiavi. Mendez isn't the quickest. He. Right, the referee is getting. Mendes. He's confusing me. I'm confu I'm being confused. He looks like a Schalke player. Frara, into the box. Are you kidding me? Fucking fuck. Yuchida. Yuchida. Wateng. Joel Matty. The assistant has raised the flag for offside. Well, half time. At one nil. So we reach half time with a and, score uh... of nil. I don't know what you think, but that penalty with the red card, I think, was still a bit harsh. For the second half of this Champions Cup match for a place in the quarterfinals. A little bit uh, tense at times, a bit tactical in the first half. Might uh, open up now. And the attacking now coming from Barcelona. Christian Clements. Oh, a muscle's gone for this player. Oh, we've got a fucking muscle injury already. Bloody hell. I honestly don't know what to do. Just changing things up. Play, maybe play, play a defensive or an attacking. I'm gonna go attacking. There we go. It's uh, Huntelaar, and they've got their new man ready, Barcelona, to make the change. Keeps it going well. It was promising, but the defender was more than equal to it in truth. That guy, that guy, the referee, he, he's basically camouflaging with the Schalke players. He is a Schalke player. Barcelona get the throw. I'll put this match in your diary. EA Sports presentation of the Champions Cup fixture. Schalke 
They'll be facing Barcelona away from home. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Obviously, they'll be playing Barcelona away from home because this is the first leg. How? how? That is so stupid. I've not seen FIFA do that before, but that is fucking dumb. I'll put this in your fixture. This first leg has a second leg corresponding to it. Congratulations. Martin Tyler, you need a gold star. Christian Clements. Good save, Hoon Hong. Sort it out, lads. That's very well read. And that's a very good Good tackle, good tackle. Get out. Good save again. Hoon Hong is keeping us in it. Kevin Prince Boateng is out injured. Bloody. Yeah, why is it? Oh, fucking. How is that balanced? No one. No one is even near their half. How is that a foul? Well, he's up on his feet, Alan. I think he'll be back. Yeah, and the sooner the ref waves him on, the better. I can never understand the delay with these things. So they can regroup now at a goal kick. Barcelona, what about their next game, Alan? Well, they're playing Real Betis in their next match in La Liga. I can't see them facing too many problems in this one. Easy for them. Oh, the referee's taking the piss. Who was injured. Is now able to Come on. Come back into the match. Yeah, good news for his teammates because he's such Come an influential on. player. Ah! Oh. Shoot for Motic. Here's an opportunity, maybe. Here's the chance. Save. Decisive save. Hoon Hong. Vega. Kept us in this, like. An away goal would be huge. Like, even if we concede another one, away goal would be just massive. Well, they've got a substitute coming on now, and the injured player has to. I'd say go and try and go and try and get yourself an away goal, even if you concede in another one. In all honesty. The defenders come in well here. Time is. Approach and got the ball. If you're going to concede another one, so be it. Just try and get yourself an away goal. Break maybe from Barcelona. Dickinson. It's the fuck back. is that pass to Kochamaskas, man? It's uh, Puntela. He might be through. In with a chance. Fuck's sake. Ugh. Oh. Great play again with the ball. How can I take long shots when I don't have any chance to take long shots, super cool? How can I do that? Please. Oh, answer me. It's time for Schalke to make this change. Like a girl on a period. Flare up at any time. Over any matter. Good tackle, Scarvey. Turnover of possession here. Fuck is that? It's not retaining possession, is it? Come on! I mean, we can't even hold the ball. This is the most dep depressing thing. We can't even hold the ball. Keepers! Sort it out. It is a substitution now to keep the team on their toes and to keep this lead, they hope. The lead is still in Dickinson, we need a run coach! Fuck sick! Lagamina! And he's offside! Cuss culture was because didn't run! I gave him, I, gave, I turned and I gave him a perfect channel to run into. 
Very surprising this from Barcelona because normally you're enchanted by their football. Today, none of that magic has been on display and they are now just a few minutes away from losing. Kutsi is on a period. Kutsi is on a man period and it's losing on FIFA. That's what a man period is. Blow up at any time. Who long has kept us in this? Bloody hell. Sydney Sam. Here comes the cross. It's a good position, it's a chance. Shoot for Moti. Good judgment there to make that. Get it. Down. The Run. How is that holding me feel like that's so much energy? It's uh, Puntala. He's trying to get clear, but he's offside. Fucking referees. And we can't pass to one another. Like that. That's that's too difficult. Oh, melting here. And that is that done for this episode of U Squad Legends. How irritating has it been? And since since we now don't have an undefeated streak going on, we might as well pack in the league games all together. That's basically it. Oh, could you imagine if Real Madrid at home was the last fixture? Why do we have to pick up the trophy there? God damn. Right, anyway. This has been Cutsy. Hopefully there's not been any training injuries. No. Good, good, good. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of you Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a like and I will see you next time.